Hi friends, DK this side. The US stock market is extremely bullish. If you look at the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, all closed in the bullish territory in the last week that ended on 26th of January. It is not only the market which is bullish, but the US economy has surprised. In the last quarter, US GDP has grown by 3.3%, which is higher than the expectation of the Wall Street. So economy is growing, market is growing, and all the major indices like S&P 500, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, and NASDAQ 100 are almost at all time high. So there is a breakout of a rounding pattern in all the index of the US stock market. So there is a quite a great upside momentum possible in the near future. However, if you look at the price action currently, the market is little overextended. So we might see some kind of correction. But will the correction will be severe? I don't think so. Because the market is so bullish that the correction is likely to be shallow correction or some kind of time correction in the market. That we will see when we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. So friends, don't forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin the analysis of the US stock market to get ourselves ready for the upcoming week. Before we go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis, let us check two things. One, the performance outlook of the market in the last week. And then what is the prevailing sentiments in the US stock market when the market closed in the last week on 26 January 2020. So in the last week, S&P 500 gave a return of 1.06% while well, NASDAQ 100 underperformed the broader market index S&P 500 and the return was 0.62% on a week to week basis. While well, Dow Jones Industrial Average Index gave a return of 0.65%. So all the three indices uh, of the US stock market were bullish in the last week. Now let us check the fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500. When the market closed in the last week, its current reading is 77, which means it is in the extreme greed zone. While one week ago, when we checked and came with the US stock market weekly analysis video on the last Saturday, it was reading at 70. So it was in a greed zone. So there are two things very important to note is it is in an extreme greed zone. At the same time, I told you that the market is a little overextended and hence the possibility of correction is also supported by the fear and greed index because it is ultimately an oscillator which oscillates between extreme fear zone to extreme greed zone. So there would be a possibility of some kind of pullback in the market in the upcoming week. It is useful to look at the stock market levels compared to where they have been over the past few months. When S&P 500 is above 125 period moving average, the momentum is considered to be good. Here is the momentum of the market. This is the simple moving average 125 period. S&P 500 is far away on upside uh, currently with respect to SMA 125 which means the market momentum is very, very high. At the same time, it is indicating that the market is in extreme greed zone. Now let us check the put call ratio. What we call it is a PCR. 
सो लेट एस चेक दी पीसीआर फाइव डे एवरेज पुट कॉल रेशियो अगेंस्ट एस एन पी फाइव हंड्रेड बिकॉज पुट्स आर द ऑप्शन टू सेल वाइल कॉल्स आर ऑप्शन टू बाई विच कैन इंडिकेट द ओवरऑल सिचुएशन इन द मार्केट सो नाउ करेंटली इट रीड्स एट अराउंड पॉइंट सेवन थ्री वेन मार्केट एंडेड इन दी लास्ट वीक विच मीन्स इट इज फार बिलो देन दी वन लेवल विच इज अ न्यूट्रल लेवल एंड हेंस द मार्केट इज इन एक्सट्रीम ग्रीड जोन नाउ लेट एस चेक दी मार्केट वॉलिटिटी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू फिफ्टी डे मूविंग एवरेज सो हियर इज दी विक्स एंड दिस इज इज दी फिफ्टी डे मूविंग एवरेज बोथ आर किसिंग टू ईच अदर which means market is in neutral territory considering the market sentiments looking at the fear and greed index it is certainly in the extreme greed zone and the market sentiments over the past week has improved does it reflect in the ultimately the price action let us go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis to get ready for the upcoming week friends do not forget to like the video willing to succeed in the stock market join dk's diamond club channel membership for fundamental and technical analysis learn strategies and risk management to stay ahead of the curve join now and attend our weekly meetings every sunday this is the price chart of s&p 500 index in weekly time frame In the last week, market closed at four thousand eight hundred and ninety point nine six. Thereby, it was bullish by one point zero six percent. If you look at the chart closely, it has made a all-time high here in January two thousand twenty-two, and then it was a beginning of the bear market in two thousand twenty-two, and then price recovered and. recovered making a u shape formation which is a rounding type of pattern and it has finally given a breakout of this lifetime high of january 2022 and now currently decisively trading above this important level so there are multiple chart patterns that we can witness on the price chart of s&p 500 earlier it had formed the reversal chart pattern which is inverse head and shoulder that we have already discussed on this channel and then the market structure is higher highs and higher lows and now this was the area of major resistance it was at around 4600 level and finally market gave a decisive breakout here and then it was a matter of time that it makes a all time high and it has finally done it now let me superimpose some of the Uh, technical studies which i have already done now look at this price action this is the trend line which is very significant which was acting as a dynamic resistance price got rejected here once again price got rejected here and the price struggled here to go past this trend line but now the finally price is trading above this trend line which has been drawn on the price chart joining the pivots of the resistance what does it mean the trend line which was earlier acting as a resistance should act as a support in the near future so it is very important price action now let me uh, tell you some of the very important level this level i have already told it was 4600 level which is very very significant and now it is making a all time high so based on the price action can you see closely let me enhance the uh, you know size of the chart so that you can understand the price action little better here if you see the price is struggle to go past this important level which means it was a area of resistance and hence 4793 is a very strong support in s&p 500 but this trend line is a rising trend line if even if the correction takes place it will take place like this because market always corrects in the wavel formation so 4839 also becomes a very very significantly important level as a immediate support to s&p 500 and another level is 4818.62 which is nothing but all time high it has made in january 
So overall price action is very, very strong. So if I calculate the long-term target for S&P 500 based on this breakout of a rounding pattern where it takes the target, let me project the target. So now if you see, it is trading currently at 4890.96 and the target one comes at 5780 which is a 61.8 percent expansion level with respect to the rounding pattern but 100 percent expansion comes at a phenomenally higher level which is 6505 which means it is almost racing towards 6500 level of course, the price once reached to the first target, we might see some sizable correction in the market. It may not be shallow correction. At that point of time, it could be something like a sizable correction. What is shallow correction? What is a healthy correction? I, when I say shallow correction, the retracement would be limited to a zone of 38.2% to 50% level. When we talk about healthy correction or a deeper correction, it could extend to golden ratio that is 61.8% retracement level to the zone of 78.6% retracement level. But considering the present price action, I don't think the price will correct so deeper and correction is likely to be shallow in nature. Now let us go to the daily price chart to further understand the recent price action. What we can see, whenever the price has corrected, it has taken support at EMA 21, EMA 21, which means EMA 21 itself becomes a dynamic support for S&P 500. And now we have derived at the strong support at 4,793, which is almost kissing to EMA 21 and this rising trend line. So this becomes a very, very important support area. As I said, the market is overextended. Can you see the price is too far away from EMA 21 and uh, mean reversion uh, possibility cannot be ruled out in the market. In the market, this was the cup and handle kind of pattern or a continuation chart pattern. So almost the target has been achieved based on this pattern. I'll tell you, I'll tell you calculating the target. Can you see? 100% expansion target has been achieved and now if you see the price action since last three days there is a lack of upside momentum in the market so there could be a possibility of correction and once the correction is over and uh, price again resumes a trend next target could be to 4917 to 4951 so we may conclude in the next week or forthcoming week uh, this could be the supply area from 4918 to 4952. However, the support is immediate support could be to 4839 and then 4818.62, which was its earlier all time high. So, this becomes the support area and this becomes the supply area in SP 500 as far as upcoming week is concerned. Now let us move to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis. This is the weekly price chart of NASDAQ 100 index. This index in the last week closed at 17,421.01 and thereby it was bullish by 0.62%. So in the last week NASDAQ 100 underperformed uh, S&P 500. However, in the prior week, it has outperformed the broader market index, S&P 500. Now, this index is also trading at an all-time high. It was an all-time high here and now it gave a breakout, very decisive breakout. Overall structure is very bullish. Market structure is higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure. If you see here, here too we can have uh, multiple price pattern. What price pattern can we see? Here it was a double bottom or multiple bottom. It was the apex gave a breakout that indicated the trend reversal post bear market of 2022. And now the market structure is higher highs and higher lows. Now we see a breakout of a rounding pattern since it has made a all time high over here. 
So now let me superimpose some of the drawings to understand the price action further. Can we see this? It has made an all-time high of 16,764.86 in November 2021 here. And now it has decisively given a breakout of this important level. So there will be an upside move in NASDAQ 100 to a substantial upside move. Further, we see the price action, price resistance, price resistance, price is struggled over here. Now, in the prior week, it has given a breakout of this resistance line. If you see this trend line, price support, price support, price support. So, there is a breakout of a rising wedge as well. What does it mean? It means that the price is expanding and price is expanding at that point of time when it has given a all-time high and currently trading a all-time high in itself. Now, if I calculate the long-term target of NASDAQ 100 by uh, measuring the target of the rounding pattern where the target comes, I am projecting the target. So, the next target comes at around 21,927 while currently it is trading at only 17,421. But majority of the time, minimum expected objective of the rounding pattern is 100% expansion. So if we look at the 100% expansion level, the target comes at 26,045. So ultimately, based on the price pattern, we can conclude that the NASDAQ is going towards 26,000 uh, level. But it will not happen in a straight line upside. There will be formation of a wavel formation and we might see once it reaches to 21,900 to 22,000, there might be a sizable correction once the first target is achieved. But overall trend is extremely bullish and even if you see the base of this rising wedge kind of formation, which has already given a breakout in the previous week or a prior week, uh, the target would be quite higher and the target would be obviously this level of target, which we discussed 21,900 to 22,000 level. Now, let us go to the uh, daily price chart to understand the recent price action. Here too, as discussed, the price is overextended. And this is very, very important. The earlier all-time high was 16,764.86 which it has made in November 2021, which means it becomes a very good base and support. At the same time, we can see here the formation of a continuation chart pattern, which is a cup and handle kind of chart pattern. So 16,969 becomes another level of support, which happens to be the neckline of this continuation chart pattern. And there is a confluence of EMA 21 and volume weighted moving average for the period 21. And this upper fiber of rising wedge, what we discussed in the weekly price chart, is also uh, is a support, will act as a support to NASDAQ 100. So we can conclude that 16,969 is a, a good support for the upcoming week. Now, if I calculate the target, I had explained in the uh, last Saturday's video as well. But let me explain you again. If I see this prior impulsive wave and project the target, what we can see, it has already attained the target of 127.2% expansion level. Uh, and hence, the next possible move could be to 17,800 to 17,900, which is nothing but the 161.8% expansion level in the uh, market with respect to the prior impulsive wave. We can see the loss of momentum in the market considering the price action of the last three days, which means there is a possibility of a pullback or a correction. Now, if I calculate the target on the basis of this cup and handle pattern, it has already attained the target of cup and handle pattern. So, considering the overall price action, what we can conclude that there is an immediate resistance at 17,800 to 17,900 zone and there is a good support uh, at 16,969 and there is a gap also over here which will provide a support to NASDAQ 100 with a confluence of EMA 21 and 
volume weight and moving average 21 period besides this rising trend line which is a upper fiber of the rising wedge kind of structure so overall trend in nasdaq 100 and s&p 500 is extremely bullish now let us move to the price chart of dow jones industrial average index to undertake the technical analysis and understand the price action this is the weekly price chart of dow jones industrial average index and this index in the last week closed at 38,109.44. Thereby, it was bullish by 0.65% on a week-to-week -week basis. Now, this index also is extremely bullish. It has made the all-time high over here in January 22 at 36,952.65. And now, the price is uh, trading at an all-time high here, giving a breakout of this rounding kind of pattern. So, we have seen the rounding kind of pattern in all the three indices of the US stock market and which means the market is extremely bullish. Now if I calculate the target based on this rounding pattern, target the first target comes at around 41,895 say 41,900. Currently it is trading at 38,109.44 which means there is a sizable upside move possible in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. But in majority of the cases, the probability of price going to 100% expansion is quite higher. So if I consider the 100% expansion with respect to this rounding pattern, the target comes at 45,729. So we might see some sizable correction once the price reaches to the first target of 41,895 and then there will be sizable correction in the market. But overall market remains very, very strong. Now based on the price action, this area of resistance will be a very very strong support in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Based on the price action, if you could closely look at the price chart, can you see that the price is struggled at this level for three weeks in a row? What does it mean? Now it is trading above this level. So this becomes a support at 37,800. Uh, another level of resistance was here on the basis of the weekly verdict. So 37,600. So 37,600 to 37,800 becomes a good support in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action. Massive impulsive wave. Massive impulsive wave. Then the price consolidated, gave a continuation chart pattern breakout. So I don't think much correction is left here in a, uh, even if the correction takes place 37,600 to 37,800 is likely to act as a good support which has a confluence of EMA 21 as well. Now considering the recent price action and the prior impulsive wave here the price consolidated for several days. So it was a more or uh, less a, a time correction. So if I calculate the target based on this time correction and project the target on upside, what has happened? It has already attained the first target of 61.8% expansion level and next possible move could be to 38,895 level, which is nothing but the 100% expansion of this bullish flat breakout. So overall trend in the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index is also bullish, extremely bullish. What is the takeaway of this week's analysis. Number one, the US stock market is extremely bullish with a rounding pattern kind of breakout. Number two, there is no price action based resistance in the market because the market is trading at all time high. Whatever price action based analysis can be done is on the basis of wave analysis. Number three, Currently, the market is overextended. It is in an overbought territory. So we cannot rule out the possibility of some kind of correction or maybe a time correction or maybe a minor pullback. What do you think about the US stock market? Will it attain the target that we have discussed for the long term? What is your opinion? Don't forget to offer your comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.